Good afternoon everyone. It's not like me to start a vlog in the middle of the afternoon um, but I've actually just been working this morning and to be perfectly honest with you it's a madhouse again. We have started phase 1.5 of the renovation so it's not quite stage two <laughs> but it's on its way so we're working on the kitchen at the moment and finishing off Ali's uh, dressing room which he's well, office slash dressing room so it's just kind of like tying up some loose ends there and obviously finishing off the kitchen and it's so funny I think I've realized that I'm probably gonna be showing you the kitchen finished before I show you the dining room and my office um, finished but the good news is is that we found a rug for the dining room which means that everything else can kind of slot into place so hopefully it's all gonna go smoothly I've got some people coming on Monday for the living room for our um, fireplace and unit we're having that designed bespoke I'll obviously tell you about that in another video though because um, I don't want things to get too confusing. So this is not a house update video. I am vlogging the whole kitchen renovation day by day. So that will be coming in a vlog, hopefully, at the, like in a week's time, I don't know, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, fingers crossed they get it done. But um, yeah, the house is an absolute state at the moment. We also had to have a whole new toilet fitted in our ensuite. I've never experienced this before in my life, but basically when we moved in, the toilet seat was broken on the toilet and because we wanted to come in and change all of the toilet seats, but this particular toilet is like a one-off and you cannot get another seat for it. Weirdest thing ever, so we had to get a whole new toilet for this bloody toilet. So that's been being fitted. We've also got more CCTV going in around the house. So we've had electricians pulling cables all over our house. It's just been, it's been a bit of a start to the week, but I love it. I don't love being like completely disorganized, but I do love the fact that things are being done again. I'm very happy to have Ken and Graham downstairs working away and yeah. But this video is more of a organization video and a clear out video because um, obviously we are well into autumn winter. Now that I've got the space in this room, it's really nice, but I also don't want it to get jam packed. So at the moment I'm kind of sorting through lots of old stuff um, to go to charity and also just kind of getting organized. So um, I thought that we could organize, clear out, and also, I'm not gonna show you, but I've got two massive boxes from my Teresa. Um, they should be going live on Monday, a little haul from, from there that I did for my autumn winter wardrobe. So if you, um, yeah, if you're watching this a little bit later, I will possibly have linked it down below, but yeah, that'll be going up Monday. And I wanna make way for things. So I am basically in a bit of a state at the moment. I mean, it's not the worst it's ever been in here, but we had the electricians in here because I had, <laughs> I think he forgot, but we had a plug put in this one as well. This is for when I'm filming. I can plug in my lights under there. And so I had to take everything out of that cupboard because that's where all the electrics like are behind. So I've had to take everything out, all of my nicely organized bits that you watched me organize the other time. And I've kind of got to put everything away and have a sort out and I'm also going to kind of be going through everything and just having a bit of a clear out of things because I, I am a little bit of a hoarder I know it seems like I'm constantly clearing things out but at the same time I've got things in this wardrobe that I just know I'm never going to wear so it is time for a good old refresh and clear out so Carrie's going to help me with some uploading to Depop um, if it is up and online when this goes live I will obviously um, link it. I might get her to sort of do some of that tomorrow. But yeah, so that's the plan of action. I'm also going to be showing you some of the little organization things that um, I've been using. So this cupboard's a bit of like mayhem, but I want this to be obviously a cupboard that I can use. I'm also going to be sorting through all of my little jewelry bits, which is really exciting. I actually bought this especially for all of my Astrid and Mew earrings that I have. I have my own little stacks with Astrid and Mew. In fact, they are back in stock um, now. So this is like the perfect opportunity for me to tell you about them. But um, this little thing I use to organize them. So I've got all of my gold stuff here. I've got all of my silver here, rose gold there, and then I've just whacked a little... Um, necklace on there and this I just got from Amazon this is one of this is a carry special basically so I'll link this down below I'll also go through with you all of the stacks that are back in stock as well when we get around to it so yeah I think maybe once I've put everything on here away it is definitely the time to be starting going through 
this little one. I kind of want this shelf to be jewelry, but I don't actually have that much jewelry. Like I've got a lot of earrings, definitely. Like that's that's something we can agree on. I've got a lot of earrings, but because my jewelry is stuff that I tend to, to wear and wear and wear, I don't actually have like huge amounts of it. So like, I don't know whether it warrants a whole, like a whole shelf, but we'll see. First things first, I'm just gonna kind of put everything back in this cupboard. If you hadn't seen from my last video, I um, have everything labeled in here. So this is fairly easy. In fact, those baskets that I got, they're such a godsend. I did that the day before um, our electrician came the last time and it was so easy to just get everything out. I know it probably seems like a bit of space wastage because everything's got to go in the basket. But in terms of being able to get everything out, these are an absolute essential and I love how they look in the wardrobe as well. They look like they're almost part of the wardrobe. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. So as I mentioned, these are the three boxes from My Teresa and I'm loving the new My Teresa branding in these yellow boxes. It used to be um, white boxes with kind of pink and red writing but it looks like they've had a bit of a rebrand. Loving how sleek and sophisticated the new My Teresa logo is. Love it. It's also, looks like there's a lot here, but there's actually only four items. But because they're like autumn winter stuff, it's quite bulky. But as I said, this will be in Monday's video. So make sure you check that out on Monday. I'm actually not showing you this way on purpose at the moment, because I've got everything out from the haul. Um, especially when it comes to like luxury hauls, I think I'm gonna be changing the way that I do them because I would usually do an unboxing haul and try on with those kinds of items because the whole like packaging and things like that is such an exciting part of it and something that I do quite enjoy. I enjoy like the first impressions but for me it's more important that the things in those videos are like considered and rather than me showing you things and I haven't yet decided whether they're perfect I want the items to be out and in my wardrobe and I can tell you a little bit more about how I style them rather than them coming out and me thinking about how I'll style them with you. Does that make sense? I want the items that I show you in my hauls to be a bit more considered and for me to be able to give you a bit more information on how they fit and, and things like that rather than me just showing you them. And it got a bit much with me doing like an unboxing, first impressions, try on haul. Um, these are now just going to sort of focus around the styling of things, where they fit into my wardrobe and also, um, you know, actually items that I want in my wardrobe just in case things have turned out to not be that great after I've done the haul and I'm just like, oh, I wish I'd kind of done that a bit more considered. So I'm learning as I go along, but I think that this way is gonna be a lot more informative for you guys. So I hope that you like it. But yeah, so I've got the bits out and I've tried some of them on already and oh my God, I love them. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of styling before I fil film that, but I've obviously, before I can film, I have to organize this room basically. So I've had this box from Erin on my dressing table for bloody ages and I haven't opened it. I mean, I've had a peek inside so I know what it is, but I haven't actually taken it out. So I thought I'd take this out with you now because it's gonna help with sorting out my jewelry shelf, no doubt. In fact, just sorting this out in general is going to happen today. So in here is actually a piece of Erin homeware and it goes with the Eclat de Ver collection and it's a jewelry tray which obviously works perfectly with what I'm going to be sorting out. This is like, look at that color. It's like the most rich green. And then on the back there, you can see it says Erin Home. Oh my goodness. It's so perfect. Carrie went and got four piercings at the Astrid and Mew boutique. And that was after years of her telling me that she didn't want to look like um, a sieve that you strain your broccoli through. And um, this morning she turns around to me, she's like, Lydia, I just need to get more piercings. Like, not, I'd really like to get some more piercings. It was, Lydia, I need more piercings. No, if any, it's, well, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't even try it. <laughs> Because my birthday's coming up, we were discuss discussing what to do on my actual birthday day because we're going to a gig in the evening. And I said, how about we go get more piercings beforehand? And you said, oh, I wonder if there's a piercer at my Astrid and Mio event. I've got an Astrid and Mio event coming up, by the way. coming up. And I wonder if the piercer's going to be there. Let's double check and let's get more piercings at the event. So basically, I want the top half studded out. She wants more studs, basically. She's all about the piercing life. 
I am. You've converted me. I have corrupted my soul. I've also, <laughs> the, I've got a new pair of boots that I'm going to be showing you in the vlog that I've unwrapped. And Carrie walks in and she was like, oh my god, those boots are... Just like that. She didn't do it like that. So I think that Carrie is coming over to the dark side. So basically, we are sorting out my jewellery stuff on this side at the moment, and we have had loads of progress with it. And as Carrie mentioned, I've got my meetup coming up with um, Astrid and Miu, which is really exciting. It's a super like limited one, and it's going to be really nice and like chilled. Um, so as soon as I've got all of the details on that, I will let you know. But also, I've gone out of focus. Hi there. But first of all, Carrie has nominated herself as tribute to, tribute. yeah, to to help with the organisation because oh, I thought it was like tribute Elton John act. No, like in Hunger Games. Even though I haven't seen Hunger Games, I just know that you nominate yourself as tribute. Is that Hunger Games? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. So we failed. Yeah, yeah. You you guys haven't seen inside my cupboards in our office, but they their organisational levels. Yeah. Let's just say I should have a degree in boxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you mean you don't have a degree in organisation? I so should. I've self-proclaimed yeah. a degree. It's I going on the CD. A master's and a PhD. <laughs> I have a PhD in organisation. <laughs> going away you, you've got your suitcases in there so why not have your weekend bags and your travel bags okay yeah okay don't you me this is probably the best thing i bought you yeah right so do you want the cozy clothes in here there's more cozy clothes than that though okay well that's fine you've got a whole cupboard now for cozy clothes that's just oh my god that's Jim's. Don't say that. Oh, no, wait, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, this is smart cozy clothes in here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you have like cleaning and onesie cleaning and things like that? No. Okay. A cleaning cashmere. <laughs> <laughs> I get ripped on my channel for that. Cleaning cashmere. God, uh. this pain thing. Stop throwing stuff at me! Yeah. <laughs> I need you, you need to identify which ones you travel in. Um. So she goes to another place. <laughs> 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 I need you to do this. Okay. <laughs> My attention span is <laughs> fucking zero. Okay. As long as you promise you're with me, you're going to keep it that way. Wow, these are wonky. Then they, yeah. I think it's because my eyebrows are so dark that the... I think my glasses are straight and you're wonky. <laughs> so, I'm never going to be the case. <laughs> this is inside out! Yeah, but it's easy to test how cosy it is. So full of shit. <laughs> oh, I love this one, you never wear it anymore. What is it? The joie de vivre one. You can have it. Why? Are you not going to wear it? You wore it in your own image. Yeah, you can have it. Right. I'm a good friend like that. <laughs> and you know it too. All I do is think about you. Your eyes, your scent, your touch is all I dream of. So the whole plan was to be a lot like more organized by this point. However, um it's well, I mean Carrie's doing a great job. I'm just I'm not very good at this. But we have got rid of all of the packaging for things that we don't need. We have finally found a home for my cozy clothes and Carrie's even colour coding them, which is brilliant. My jewellery is now in here. So now we're sorting through um, Charity Shop, Depop and Carrie Pop. All of these pearly 
jumpers. These are going in the Depop pile because I have worn them so much, but I don't wear them anymore, basically. So those are going, not hanging on to things. Maybe I'll hang on to the grey one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, or you did know you're just gonna mess this back up again. No, I won't. You? you can organize it. No, because you're gonna mess it up. No, I pinky promise I won't. I'll do my best. Ow, you fucking hurt me with your ring. It's like a knuckle duster. Yeah, that makes you forces the pinky. <laughs> what? This. Sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do I want to get rid of that? Brutal. Are you gonna have when? You, when did you last wear it? Ages ago. But good morning, everyone. So um, we did finish off getting organised last night, although there was still some bits left around the room. So I've had a bit of a tidy up this morning. Um, a big bag of uh, charity shop stuff has gone to the British Red Cross in Stony Stratford. So if you're interested in some of my old clothes, <laughs> they are um, in there. That went there this morning, which is good. Um, I also have a big bag of clothes down there, which is going to be going on Depop today. I thought that I would um, wait till this morning to show you me styling my stacks because I haven't taken out my new piercing yet. It works out perfectly because my event information actually came through. They worked to make sure that I could have the information to put in this video last night. So basically, I'm going to be having a really, really small meetup at Astrid and Miu, their new store on Neil Street in Covent Garden. And that is going to be on the 14th of November. So I might be a little bit jet lagged when I'm there. Um, and it's from six until nine and tickets will be 30 pounds but there's gonna be two people doing piercings on the day. So I'm hoping to get maybe something at the top of my ear, like maybe two studs at the top. I'm gonna to look at sort of piercing inspo in the meantime. But um, yeah, it should be really, really fun. I'm actually really looking forward to this, having my own little piercing party. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So that's gonna be happening then. I'm gonna put a link in the description box where you can basically sign up to for when they release the tickets because they're not releasing the tickets yet i believe but you can sign up to be the first to know just because i've they've kind of pushed this through a little bit quicker because i asked for the details yesterday so i thought might as well just iron it out now and then um let people sign up that way so that's good it's been a bit of a hectic morning today but all systems are go in the kitchen so i'm gonna finish off this vlog today and do a, a kitchen update for my other vlog that's going to be going live I also can't tell you about my outfit today. You might see my outfit, but I can't show you, I can't tell you about it because basically it lasted 12 hours, me not wearing the stuff that came from my haul. I just couldn't not. So I've got my new boots on and one of the cardigans from the haul as well. So um, if you want to know anything about my outfit that I'm wearing in this vlog, then it will be in Monday's video. So yeah, exciting stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna change out my earrings because I've been waiting to do this with you for bloody ages. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get my jewelry stuff. This is the big bag of Depop stuff that's going on. So my jewelry collection is now in here, this little cubby hole, and my earrings are in here. So I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take this out actually. I think I'm gonna put in the Dreamer stack first because that was literally one of my favorites. I loved that so much. So let's start with the Dreamer stack. So I'm taking out my piercing jewelry that I got put in with um, the piercing when I had it done at Astrid and Mew. So this is all about the stars. I'm gonna put in, I think let's put in a stud. Oh my God, so funny. I've been trying out a 1% retinol all over my face and I'm only just getting over like all of the um, flaking. So I keep seeing on my ears, that even like my ears are flaking. <sighs> Gross. Ooh, I love the stars. I feel like Astrid and me do such cute studs. Okay, even like just the one star stud there. So I've got one star. I think I'm gonna do two stars and two huggies for the stack and then my ear cuff that goes with it. Now I can live without you. And this is the thing, so you can kind of tailor make them to how many like piercings you have. So if you've got four, obviously you can do like two studs and two huggies, or you can do like one stud and three huggies and um, play around with it like that to suit you. So the stacks aren't like set in stone or anything. 
um, but I'm just showing you my two faves and trying to get rid of my <laughs> my full <flaky> gear. <laughs> Literally, it felt like yesterday my face fell off. I tried it three days in a row and um, it was just a bit, maybe I, I was going in a little bit too gung-ho with it. Like even my earlobes have a glow now because they've been exfoliated by the retinol. So yeah. <laughs> Um, but we've got two stars in, and now let's go in with the Huggies. And you can choose whichever metal it is that you want. So you don't have to go for the rose gold in the Dreamer stack. There is gold and silver, if that's like your preference. I just really liked the, oh my God, where did that drop? Okay. <laughs> I just really liked the rose gold kind of vibe. So it's all looking a little bit um, red because I've been rubbing it. But that is my little stack there and then to finish it off we go in with my favorite thing from the whole astrid and Mew collection this cuff is so delicate and so beautiful i just oh i love it so much so then this goes here so you just squeeze it in to your ear and it looks like that and you can also like stack these up as well so if you wanted to get more of these you can put like two on or you can put little of the you can put like the plain ones either side and it's all just kind of customizable i've just kind of like done my favorite little edit on things but it looks so cute when you look from the side i just i love it love it right so that's the dreamer stack so i'll link that down below i'll link all of the stacks down below but i'm going to be showing you my favorites in this one and take this one out like that to put it on my little hangy thing and for the Lydia stack ooh, what should I do so it's quite similar in the sense that this is now just the stud so if you're not a fan of like stars and things like that because they're a bit like you know each to their own not everyone's into like stars or anything you can go for the simple studs. And if I'm perfectly honest with you, I wear a lot of Astrid and Mew studs because they are so twinkly. They are like, I think they're over like a hundred pounds or close to, I think they're like 90 pounds, but they last, you know, forever. Cause they're, a lot of this stuff is um, sterling silver. So I think it's, in fact, in fact, I think all of this range is sterling silver. So it isn't gonna kind of irritate your skin. It's also gonna last, because I'm just not someone that really wears costume jewelry. I like to wear things in the shower. I don't take my jewelry off, so it's really important that it can like last through that. But what I'm gonna do on this one is, I'm gonna put in another little huggy and just go for the one stud. I'm so happy that I got my fourth hole done. It really balanced out my ears, I found. So I'm really happy that I did that. But now I need to balance out the top bit. <laughs> Carrie and I were talking yesterday and we were like, need more piercings. <laughs> These are so easy to put in as well. That is the Lydia stack. And the good thing about the Lydia stack is you can also get the Karma necklace that I have. They call it the Halo necklace, but I have my own little name for it. I call it the Karma necklace because it's got the, um, the circle in it. Unfortunately, I lost mine. I took it off to try and untangle it from around my neck because my, neck, my necklaces do get tangled. And I must not have put the clasp on properly, my own fault, but because it, it's never ever come off. Um, and I went to touch my neck the other day and I was like, oh my God, it's gone. So I need to order a new one. But you can add that to this stack because it's kind of like my signature style. Um, and you can kind of go for as many studs as you want and just tailor make it to you. I quite often have like all studs or you can go all like huggies. It just kind of depends on like what you fancy, but I like to get multiples because these huggies are so like affordable. They're so affordable. I've bought huggies in the past that have been like so expensive, but these are just so affordable that um, you can kind of buy, if you fancy it, obviously you don't have to, but you can buy kind of multiple different options. What am I gonna go for? Maybe I can change it up as well. Maybe I can put like a stud in this one because this is where I used to have flesh tunnels. So my hole is a lot bigger. So you can even go for things like that. It doesn't have to be like two of each and then one of the other. So you can do things like that. That hides my big hole quite nicely and uh, still looks really nice and delicate, which I like. Then you can also add in the plain cuffs, which just slide on really easily. I love a little like stack of those. 
So there's just lots of different ways that you can change these up. So yeah, I will link my stacks in the description box down below so that you can shop those um, now. I'm gonna change up this ear as well and just put in um, two hoops. I actually really like this little changed one but um yeah i'll link them down below and you can shop them now just an fyi the lydia stack and the dreamer stack were the first ones to sell out all of them sold out so if you were waiting on them um just an fyi that they did all sell out so i don't want to tell you to be quick but if you really really wanted one just to be sure they're down there now and also the um meetup information will also be down there so yeah really exciting now i need to start frantically depopping my stuff because We've got a lot of stuff to put on Depop. The aftermath of me changing up my earring stacks. <laughs> I just like throw them everywhere. It's like my clothes. <laughs> I didn't realize when I was filming just then, I just kept hearing this little, like these little sighs, like, and it's him sleeping in this little corner. He's always up there. What are you doing, Linky Bum? He's not asked. <laughs> I am loving, loving all black outfits at the moment. And this cardigan is the dream. And obviously new boots. <laughs> but yeah, not telling you where anything is from. Sorry, you'll have to wait till Monday. You're having a daddy and daughter time? <laughs> it's further, isn't it? oh. Lynx is down there. I know, Lynx is there. You want some reaction as well, don't you, mate? I actually need to do some work, but this is quite nice. When you're the chosen one. You need to make most, most of the opportunity. <laughs> oh, she's proper cuddled down. I just wanted to show how lovely you looked today in my video, because I know that you, you think that I always show you when you're in your gym kit, so I wanted to show Carrie in... I mean, she looks, she looks gorgeous in her gym kit, but she, she also looks gorgeous in her little red skirt. Thank you. Look like Santa's little helper. <laughs> Mrs. Christmas. This is all going on Depop. Yeah, so we've just taken, well, I say we, Carrie has just taken pictures of all of these. I'm popping out for a meeting. And then when we get back, well, I, when I get back, we're going to list them on um, Depop this evening. So there's lots of stuff for winter, there's some Balmain in there, there's some good stuff in there. And if you want to do carry a huge favour and all buy it in one go so I only have to go to the post office once, <laughs> I would not. <laughs> I love that you got that in there. But there's some really nice stuff, there's some Rixo, Zimmerman. some Reese, Zimmerman, uh, Realisation, Gang, yeah, Hobbs. Hobbs. Club Monaco. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm going, I'll be back soon. Bye. Bye, bye have bye. fun. Bye. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Bye friend. Love you lots, have fun. Bye friend. Bye friend. See you darling. Bye friend. I feel like we need cake. Do we have brownies? I had a brownie in bed last night. Does that mean you ate all the brownies? I did, I had the last one in, the, in that tub. Why, is there not any more? Well, if you had the last one in the tub that I bought over, what does that do? The back? Did you not bring it? No, but did you not bring any more? No, because you tell me off every time I bring them. You still bring them? <laughs> I can't believe you've left us brownies without telling me until after the gone. Well, there might be some, um, what's it called? Some. Poo cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. It wasn't dairy free. So I instantly was like, oh shit. So, funny story, I made lemon drizzle cake at the weekend and I was like... Um, it's gluten and dairy free? It's gluten and dairy free because I use dairy free butter, but because I'm not like, you know, I'm not the best at knowing about baking, so I wasn't sure whether I could use soya milk or normal milk, so I used mi normal milk, so it's like half dairy free. It's not I dairy free! Yeah. <laughs> and they gave me a great big slice of it! <laughs> I and then I was eating it, I was like, well for gluten and dairy free cake and she was like oh I use milk in it <laughs> <laughs> but um i'm back from my meeting and um we're gonna start putting some of this stuff on depop so basically this is the rail and should i be a magician's assistant yes yeah. so this um barman blazer is gonna go on there so should we put this one up first let's do this one first 
Yeah, I feel like I should wear it because it'll be the only time I ever wear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wear it, wear it. Are you so fancy? I'll hold it. Who cares if it's model? Oh my god, it's so small. Ah! Small? It's tiny. There we go. Oh, you look so. Oh, that makes me want to give it to you. Don't you dare give this to me. No, don't. I wouldn't wear it. Plus, I would definitely spill coffee down this. Yeah. <laughs> that actually looks so nice on you, though. You look so fancy. Buy it! Someone buy it for Carrie. Buy it for me! <laughs> State of Carrie's bloody. Oh, when are you going to learn? It's my rescue bottle. That they, do, <laughs> that they don't go in the dishwasher. Yeah, don't put, don't put bottles in the dishwasher. But that's the second time! Yes, yeah, the second time, but they corrupt. Right, you now have all the pictures. I'm just, I mean, this is just absolutely hilarious seeing some of these pictures that you've taken. I said to you, do you just want a front on picture? Like, what is that? What is <laughs> Oh, no, of a jumpsuit. No, I need what to, is that? I need to explain. So it's got this funny back on it which pulls it all in. So I tried to stretch it out and I tried to hold it out but then it, look, when you hold it out it just makes it look like it's got like it looks like the jumpsuit has elephantitis in its legs. <laughs> so it's really so buy this off. jumpsuit. <laughs> it's like I tried to hold it out and do a picture like this but it looked worse. So I was like you could just <laughs> it just looks like like one of those chicken dogs, those, those chi like, <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> do you know what it reminds me of? I say this all the time and everything seems to remind me of those things. In, you know, in American car parks, where they have those oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what that looks like. Carrie's gone home, but I've added mainly all of the autumn winter stuff. There's a couple of dresses that have gone on there from like Stelled and uh, Reformation, but knitwear's on there. Stuff has already sold, unfortunately, but I've still got all of this to get on. However, I don't think I'm gonna get it done tonight, unfortunately. If you see anything that you fancy, let me know. I kind of just wanted to have a little bit of a clear out and uh, that's what I've done. I've even added a bag as well. I'm selling this Chloe bag as well that's here this Chloe Faye, because literally it is brand new. It still has the tags inside and the um, tissue paper. So I thought that can probably go to another home. I'm umming and ahhing about selling this one as well, because I've not worn that. But um, yeah. I love a good clear out video. I love a good clear out video, but uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening chilling out and why is there a bin bag? Oh, that's the bin bag of the Depop stuff. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening chilling out and relaxing and cuddling my fur babes. So I will see you guys uh, in my next video on Monday when you see all of the stuff I bought. Bye.